you're not going to find a simpler or more effective smoke machine than this one. Even better, it'll take you an hour or two to build it and will cost you about $15. Most smoke machines don't give you the control this one does. With the air pump, you can see you can get as much pressure as you want when you want it. Because this is glass, you can see how much smoke is in there to make sure you have enough smoke to do the test you want. Let's take a look at a real case scenario where you'll need a smoke machine. This cylinder is at top dead center and has both valves closed. If these valves are in good condition, we'll see no smoke out of the intake port or the exhaust port. This test will clearly show the valves are bent and not functioning. Now there's other ways to do this test, but smoke is very visual. A test like this is also really good on EVAP systems or finding a very difficult to find leak in a vacuum line or an intake manifold. A tool like this can save you a lot of time. I'll show you step by step how easy it is to make this tool. You're going to need a pickle jar, a big pin, a cheap soldering iron, some vinyl tubing, and a bicycle pump. The big pin fits the air pump perfectly. This tube diameter fits perfectly with a bicycle pump. The lid from the big pin fits the vinyl tubing perfectly. Plus it has a ridge on it that makes a perfect stop when you press it into the metal lid. The blue cap will allow the smoke to come out of the machine while the big pin allows pressure from the air pump to go into the machine. The soldering iron will burn the mineral oil from the wick. You can buy expensive wicks, but an old cotton sock works really well. The cotton fibers will pull the mineral oil or baby oil up to the top where the soldering iron makes a tremendous amount of smoke. I usually let the mineral oil soak in overnight to bring it all the way to the top. Just take your time drilling these holes so they fit the big pin and the big pin lid nice and snug. Now cut a little piece of the big pin off and then clip off the end of the big pin lid to make a tapered tube so the smoke can go through it. Now you can cut off the plastic protrusion for the pocket clip. Now you can take this tube and push it into the metal lid. This little rib will stop when it gets to the metal lid. Now we're going to do the same thing with the big pin. We'll take this little piece and we'll push it through this hole and just make sure that the hole is nice and tight. Now to seal these tubes up, we're going to take a little epoxy glue and put it around these tubes to connect them in securely. Just put the glue around the tube to make sure that it seals. Try not to get too much epoxy glue on the rubber seal. The rubber seal on the lid seals to the glass really well. Now we'll put some epoxy on the top of these plastic tubes. This bigger hole in the middle, we're going to bond the soldering iron to the top of the metal lid. Just put an even coat of epoxy along the plastic portion of the soldering iron. This glue will securely hold the soldering iron centered in the jar. Once you connect these pieces, you can just hold the soldering iron on the lid and make sure that it's centered because it'll take about five minutes to set up and then it'll be nice and straight. You can also take some epoxy and add it to the outside of the handle just to give it some additional strength. When this is glued together, it 
creates a very airtight pressurized canister. When the glue dries, you can turn it upside down and this is what the bottom looks like. Now that the top is ready to go, you can screw it right down to the glass jar. This system really keeps the smoke in the jar. The epoxy takes about 24 hours to cure, so if you can, wait the time. So the bicycle pump goes here and the vinyl tube goes here. Now it's time to open it up and put your cotton wick into the jar and then put plenty of mineral oil or baby oil into the jar and soak it really good. You'll probably have about a half of an inch of this mineral oil at the bottom of the jar. If there's not enough of the mineral oil, the sock will burn, so make sure you get plenty in the jar. Just like any wick, the wick doesn't burn, the oil burns. And that's basically it. Just plug the soldering iron in and you'll watch the smoke start to appear. So give it about five minutes and you're gonna start to see that smoke. And when you can't see the soldering iron, you're ready to go. So I really like the simplicity and the effectiveness of this smoke machine. Well, I hope you find this smoke machine as valuable as I have. So next time you're tearing your hair out, trying to find that mystery leak, this tool will come in real handy. A tool doesn't need to be complicated to be effective. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up.